Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Operator Time and Expert. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can play with the visibility when we have the possibility to log in and log out from the HMI. So depending on who is the user that has logged in, how we can display certain information. So let's go to the software. Okay. So let's create a new project. Du, 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 du. So now the first thing that we need to do is to add users. Without users, it's going to be useless. So here in setting security, add group, we just need to add groups. Okay. Now I'm going to create the first group, group operators open group supervisor super and the third one is going to be group underscore admin okay now each group should have their own level so just randomly add number three number five and number ten Okay. Now that I have this, it's important to add users in each group. Before doing that, in the security part, we have this option to complex password. So for just for demonstration, I will use the disable this part. So I just use small things. So here in the users for OP, I'm going to use the operator OP. Open for the super 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 and for the admin 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 everything lowercase okay admin admin so this is fine good now now that we have this we just need to go to the screen and start playing around here I'm going to use a uh, switch to log in. So it's important to define a name for all the objects. Login. Login. Press login. Okay, now I'm going to create another one for logout. Out, out. So you can see it doesn't have anything extra, just that. What we need to do in order to log in is to specify a script. There are plenty of ways to do it. I'm just going to do this in this way. So click when we click in one of the objects in the screen. Or login then I will pop up the HMI uh, message so that is the here functions security pop up system login dialog good now I'm going to add the other one for logout logout so that will cover everything that we want for login for logout screen there we go so now now that we have this it's important to recognize which is the actual user so um, in order to do that for example you have see a string display and numerical so for the numerical, what I'm going to do is just to show you the level. So if we go to target, target, that's the HMI. We have the security level. There we go. Here is it's only one way. 
click on our right on that one and here we have the possibility also to show which is the actual user so target doo -doo -doo -doo. current username are we gonna write on this one target one way now here we just need to play with the visibility so if the value is zero it means that the object will be shown if it's one it means that it's going to be hidden and then if it's number two it will be collapsed but in this case we are not going to use it so we just need to play with the visibility for these two options so if you want to play with the visibility then the best would be to make a, a converter here the converter the unit c for login i'm going to specify a range so basically if the number if the number is zero which is there is no one login i just want this to be seen so it's going to be number zero otherwise it's going to be one now the opposite way would be when i log in i just control c control b log out when the value is zero i just want the logout to be hidden and when it's login i just want to see that visible okay that's it then what we need to do is to specify options so for example if i'm in the supervisor okay group C level super so again range if this is one way to do it if the value for the actual security level is five then I want to show it otherwise hide it okay so if we go back to the screen let's put um ellipse over here and play with the visibility of this object so login the login and the visibility here we just need to add oh, you cannot see it there we go in the visibility we just need to add the target Option. So I'm going to go back and whoop. target actual level security level one way. Here we just need to use the converter and login. Then here log out target uh, security level one way log out so if everything is fine it will work in that way on the visibility size location visible target again just need to select the target which is the red one uh, security level converter as soon as you select convert it just change to one way here just need to use super and then I believe it's done. <laughs> you can also use um, different ways to do this. Um, so let me just go back here to the other screen. So you can have, for example, for objects that doesn't have the visibility. If you don't want to play with the visibility, you can have. Uh, permission ah, but not for this one for that one that requires an action so if you go a switch you have the possibility to have the lock don't remember right now uh i mean if it's in these ones they have the lock functionality mm -hmm. you have the security level so let's say five and it will show a, a lock over there so let's simulate this once again 
you can see that it had the log. So I'm going to log in. I'm going to use admin. Oops, admin. Admin. You see it's level 10. That is disappear because it's the minimum. But the other one is just one for a specific. It doesn't show up. Uh, log out. Now log in. Super. Super. And it shows. Okay. Log out. Disappear. Okay. So this is how you can play around with visibility when you are with a specific user level. Okay. In Ecosocial Project Terminal Expert. So thank you very much for watching this video. And I see you in the next one.